What is up guys? Welcome back to The Crew 2. And in this video, I'm going to take a look at the recent summer reward, the Porsche Carrera GT Green Flash Edition. I'm also going to compare this to the regular Carrera GT, which I did attempt to actually kind of get it like that one. Which, to be honest, you definitely cannot get this car to look just like that one. So, at least it is going to be unique in that aspect. But, when looking at the Green Flash Edition, guys, the first thing you're probably going to notice is that crazy overall design. I did mention in that summit, I do also believe it's going to be heavily based off the Gambala Edition. Which, my goodness, that is a beautiful Carrera GT. But... Overall though guys, I really do love the look of this car. Now if you did want to, you can also remove the livery, which I do have to say, I don't think the car actually looks all that bad, but my goodness, that is a lot of green on there. So uh, let's head back over and actually add this back onto the car because I do like how that thing actually looks faded. But overall though guys, I really do think a lot of players are absolutely going to love the Carrera. Obviously with this being a Summit car, you also can't customize this at all, but you can add some vanity items to it. To be honest, I'm most likely going to leave those crazy tires off of this thing, but now I'm sure a lot of players might be asking themselves, is the Green Flash Edition actually going to be insanely unique, at least compared to the regular Carrera GT? So I actually jumped into that car, guys, to customize it a bit, and obviously that green is definitely not going to be the same thing. My goodness, that is not even close. Now, besides me failing the color of this vehicle, even if you guys do customize this thing slightly, you also cannot get this car to look like that one, which I would say is going to make a lot of people happy, especially if you actually want something unique. This is going to be basically like the only upgrades you can put on it. Sure, you can make it slightly similar, but even then though, it's not going to match it perfectly. And one of the biggest highlights are also going to be the rims. Those are definitely not available. The closest thing you're also going to get is basically these, which um do not match the ones on that car. But besides that though, guys, you really can't make this car exactly like that one, which I would say is going to make players happy. At least you do have a very unique vehicle with like a special color design on it. So at least you know when you do actually see that car, it really does look insanely unique. And that way you also cannot replicate that vehicle, which... I do think a lot of people are also wondering how different these cars actually are compared to the regular ones. And to really see how these Summit cars actually set themselves apart, at least compared to their regular counterparts. So I will definitely be testing out more of these, at least side-by-side -side comparisons, to really see how some of them are different like this Carrera GT. But nonetheless, guys, the Green Flash Edition really is going to be insanely awesome looking. And not only is this car going to look really good, it also has some pretty impressive performance. Now one thing I do have to admit though, it's not going to be the fastest car in the hypercar category. Like don't get me wrong guys, you definitely cannot be chasing down Bugattis with this car, but that doesn't necessarily mean the Carrera GT Green Flash is going to be slow because sure guys, it does around 295 for a top speed. It isn't going to be like the fastest hypercar in the Crew 2, which I would probably say a lot of players are most likely aiming for cars that do over 300. But to be honest, if you are farming out races and stuff and you're not really in summits, and as long as you guys are not going after like world record attempts, you don't have to have a car like that though. I have done over 2,000 miles in this Carrera and it's been so much fun the entire time. I also do believe I've probably done that long New York Hyper Race at least 10 times in this vehicle. My goodness, I really have done these races way too many times, but you really do get to test out how these cars actually are different than some other ones. And what's kind of funny is, yes, this car does around 295. What's crazy, though, is even some of the cars that do like 305 to 310, this car can actually beat them. Now, I'm sure some are going to say this car does around 295, and if that car does 305, it's obviously faster. Which that is going to be true to a certain extent, but if you guys are not running a Nitro Chemist set though, a lot of the top speeds of these vehicles are also going to be pretty hard to reach. So if you are running like a Fame Magnet set, which is normally what I actually run on these hyper events, I'm normally not doing 300 miles an hour anyway. So it really isn't going to be a big deal to me with that. But even with this car being slower though, I did notice you can actually beat some of the faster cars in some areas. For example, the Green Flash might actually be better around corners for example guys the bugattis are definitely not going to have the best ability even like the 300 super sport i was noticing if you go around a turn and there's like a hill nearby and you actually have to turn causing the vehicle to like almost be uneven 
similar to like a Jeep flexing on like a crazy trail, but if you do actually do that with like a Bugatti, obviously the car gets kind of squirrely, and I did notice a lot of the hypercars do also do that as well, especially those. I actually don't really like driving the Bugattis except the Veyron Vitesse. I do think that's how you actually say that, but that's probably my favorite Bugatti, even compared to something like the 300 Supersport, which to be honest, I really don't drive that car all that often, but if you guys are looking for like a change of pace, I would recommend jumping into the Green Flash Edition. I really do love the way this car does shift, plus that 5.7 liter V10. My goodness, the engine sound in the Carrera is honestly beautiful, like I love this thing. Also guys, I would like to know in the comments below, what is your favorite sounding engine and or car? I really do feel like there's going to be a lot of different answers, but overall though guys, if you are looking for better stability, I would recommend trying out this Carrera though. I do really enjoy the way this car does handle, plus I also find this thing insanely fun to race around, especially on the longer hypercar events. If you guys are looking for like a different vehicle to probably jump on and maybe grind some money, obviously Motorfest is around the corner, so a lot of players are probably looking to buy a lot of cars. I would recommend doing some hyper races in this Porsche because this thing really is insanely fun to drive. And if you guys are obviously using something like a Fame Magnet, you probably can't hit 300 anyway, so even if you are going to be slightly slower, this car is insanely fun to use, especially in corners. The Carrera GT Green Flash Edition is still Still going to remain one of my favorite summit cars even to this day what's kind of insane guys this car is actually very old it came out like over a year ago and i would say a lot of players are insanely happy to see this car return now could this car actually return into motorfest as like a future summit I would probably say that's going to be a possibility, but there's most likely going to be a lot of new cars in Motorfest, especially in the Summits. But who knows, guys, maybe we might see a different variant of this car in the future of Motorfest, but I would like to know your thoughts in the comments below about this Carrera GT, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more insight.